Hello guys, this is Jan, NTC, Nissan's training concept. We've got this here car from the AC service. And what we're gonna do is, is to replace the AC compressor. The compressor in this here car broke down due to oil starvation and the seizure. So now it is the time to get replaced the compressor. And I'm pretty sure that you know what is recommended for the proper compressor installation procedure. A thorough system troubleshooting, condenser visual inspection, replacement, replacement of the receiver dryer, inspection of several other devices, system flashing, as well as replacement of this here guy, thermal expansion valve. And quite often the TXV is being disregarded during the AC compressor replacement. However, replacing it can really save you from some extra expenses and most importantly, from the newly installed compressor failure. The TXV is an important part of the system. It meters the refrigerant flow, ensuring the proper refrigerant parameters. If clogged, stuck or sticky, can lead to severe failures of the AC compressor. And this happened here. Impurities within the AC loop concentrated in its narrow passages and the TXV disabling its metering function. This led to the lubricant starvation as oil flow that travels along with the refrigerant was obstructed. Because of the restriction, the system started to generate excessive pressures, those temperatures. Impaired lubricant flow to the inner compressor parts and lack of cooling led to the seizure. Please keep in mind, the TXV should always be replaced by the new compressor installation. We also recommend to learn some basics how to troubleshoot the valve. Get enrolled to one of our NTC courses to learn about AC compressor installation, TXV troubleshooting and TXV replacement. It is all there and ready to guide you for the next compressor installation.